next video is on finding the volume of a solid. And we'll work on prisms, cylinders, pyramids, cones, and spheres. So the formula for the volume of solids is the same for a prism and a cylinder. And that is the area of the base times the height of the solid. The base will change if the base is is a parallelogram, it's just base times height. If the base is a triangle, the formula for the area of the base is one half base times height. Again, I do think it's important to identify what the base of the solid is. So we'll try just one of these cubes and then we'll do a rectangular prism and then a triangular prism. So in number three, we can see that these are cubes, like it says, and to find the area of a square, which is the base, we say eight squared. So that would be 64. And then we have to multiply it by the height. And since this is a cube, all sides are the same length. So we're going to say area of the base times the height and 64 times eight is 512. Now the unit of measure for volume is always cubed. And you want to remember that because we're dealing with three dimensions. So we're going to say our volume then is 512 yards cubed. Again, area of the base, which is eight times eight times the height. So essentially for a cube, you're just basically saying side cubed. Okay. And seven to the third power is 343. So number four is 343 centimeters cubed. Cube is the only prism that you can do that with. Let's take a look at one of the rectangular prisms. So again, we have to find the area of the base, and this base is shaped like a rectangle. So that's six times two, and then multiply that by the height of the prism, which is the distance between the bases, times three. So six times two is 12, and 12 times three is 36, so our volume is 36. We can say cubic feet or feet cubed. So essentially in a rectangular prism, all you're doing is multiplying every side length. Now on a triangular prism, that's not the case. So you do need to be careful with this. But again, we know the base is shaped like a triangle because that's the only polygon that's parallel and congruent. So I'm going to just sketch that base. 24 and 7 are my dimensions. So when we find the area of the base, we say base times height, and we're dividing it by 2 because it's a triangle. So the area of the base is 84 millimeters squared. And then we have to take that area to find volume and say 84 millimeters squared times the height, again, the height is the distance between those two triangles. And 84 times 8 is 672 millimeters cubed. Can unit of measure is always cubed for volume because our area is millimeters squared and our height is millimeters. So if you remember your rules for exponents, m times m squared is m cubed. So again, the formula for the volume of a cylinder is the same, area of the base times the height. So we'll just do one of these. So we're going to say that volume equals, and the base is a circle, so that's pi times radius squared, there's the area of the base, and then we have to multiply that by the height of the cylinder, 
which is 15. So I'll say 8 squared is 64, so we have 64 pi times 15, and now I go to the calculator, 64 pi times 15, and that's equal to 3015.9, so rounded to the nearest whole number, our volume is 3016 inches cubed. You can try with the others, but I think that's all we need to try for now. Let's look at <clears throat> a pyramid. So a pyramid occup occupies just a portion of the space that a prism would, and that's why the one-third is, and you might remember we watched that video on that. So again, we're, we're still going to find the area of the base, and the base is shaped like a square. So in order to find the area of a square, we say side squared, or 36. Okay, can't forget about that one-third, or you can divide by three. So area of the base times the height. But remember, we always have to divide by three if we're talking about a pyramid or a cone. So that's equal to 36 divided by three is 12, and 12 times 9 is 108 yards cubed. Just need to follow the formulas, and you know you'll be given the formulas. There might be a chance where you don't know the height, and you'll have to find it, so that is, requires using the Pythagorean theorem. All right, same idea for a cone. One third times the area of the base times the height. So we're going to say one third, and we know the base is a circle, so that means times pi times radius squared, and then times the height of the cone. So we're going to say Remember, you know that 9 squared is 81, and 81 times 10 is 810. So what we have is 810 pi divided by 3. And now, now where you want to go to your calculator, again, 9 squared is 81. 81 times 10 is 810. So we're going to take 810 times pi divided by 3, and we get 800. 48.2, so rounded to the nearest whole number is 848 meters cubed. There's our volume. Let's take a look at the sphere. And we'll try, we'll do uh, number eight. So four thirds pi r cubed. Four times pi times now if the diameter is 14 then the radius is half of 14 or 7 so 4 times pi times radius cubed divided by 3 so typically what I do is I just put my numerator in the calculator 4 pi 7 cubed and I get that answer and then just divide it by 3. So final answer rounded to the nearest whole number is 1,437, because it was 36.7 centimeters cubed. And there's my volume.